this video, we're going to dive a little deeper into the call flow section of smartphone and look at the dial applet uh, itself and how to use it. Now, again, to access your call flows, you simply go to admin, flows, and you select the call flow that you want. So in this case, I'll look at the test flow and I'll edit the call flow. <coughs> so once I'm in, I can determine what applet of the voice applets we have to drop on. And in this case, I'm simply going to drop on and explore the dial applet. So what does the dial applet do? Simply put, it, it dials whichever user group or number you tell it to do. And then of course, it's got a certain amount of key functionality that we'll explore in a bit more detail. In this case, what we've got is some options here. We've got dial, dial a user, announce the user, say before dial, pro dialing, caller ID, call recording, and dial timeout. Let's take each of them in turn. So first of all, you have to determine whose smartphone going to call, who in your system or externally is smartphone going to call when this number is dialed. We can either choose a user, in which case we can select from an individual user itself, and then it'll only dial that user, or we can select a group. And if we select a group, we can choose whether to simultaneously call that group, i.e. everybody in that group will get the same call at the same time, and whoever answers gets the call, or we, we can choose normal calling, in which case it'll take that group in order that the group has been has the users created and assigned. So the first user will get the call, and if there was the available, the second user will get the call, and then the third and the fourth and so on. So all of those sort of go together. And the third option is number. And in this case, we can add in, if I wanted to call, for instance, 203-555-5555, when, when our smartphone number is called and the this flow is selected, it will dial that number. So it'll go straight through and dial that number instead of one of your users and groups. This is great, for instance, as part of a uh, secondary flow. Um, if you first try your own people and nobody's available and you've got an answering service, it's this is a great opportunity because you can then say, okay, well, look, if nobody's there, if nobody can do it, then forward and let's go to our answering service. In this case, I'm going to start with the sales group and I'm going to say, yeah, let's do simultaneous calling. Um, so say before dial is your next option on the dial applet. And what this allows you to do is I record or uh, type a message that is going to either be uh, read out by the computer or the recording is going to be played when the user calls this number. So for instance, uh, a great opportunity to have a recording that says, thank you for calling smartphone. Uh, please hold while we connect you to one of our users. Uh, please note that all calls may be recorded for quality and monitoring purposes. That is a great example of a say before dial. Uh, if I put this on, I have four options. Uh, we do explore this in other videos. You can either read the text like a robot, in which case literally the computer will read the text. We don't recommend that. You can record using your phone. Uh, <coughs> if you are on a trial, that option is not available to you. But basically you would put in your number and click call and record and um, smartphone itself will call you and ask you to record a message which you can then accept and then it will upload here. You can choose from your media library. Uh, these are recordings that you have already stored in smartphone and you can uh, manage them in your recording manager. We have other videos on those. And of course, finally, you can upload an MP3, which you can click from a local file. I do recommend when you're doing a, call, uh, a say before dial, you know, going to fiverr.com or something, or if you have a voice studio, get someone professional sounding to do your recordings, uh, add a little music, whatever it is. It just, it just ups the game and makes your call um, center or your, your phone sound even more professional. Um, so in this case, I'm just going to read the text and say, please hold. And that can, now what would happen is when someone called this number, it would look and try and connect to the sales group simultaneously. 
And before it tried to connect to anyone, it would say, please hold in a very computer generated voice. Um, going up top, uh, if you do have a uh, pro account, uh, then you, if you can determine whether you want to enable pro dialing, uh, and that obviously allows some other functions to come into it. Okay. You know, what ringing sounds do they want to hear? Do you want a different noises? And of course it allows the, um, phone to be, uh, monitored in the call monitoring section, which again, we have other videos around that. Uh, caller ID, the default would be the caller's number. You want to know who's calling you. You want to see that. Uh, so that's the default. I wouldn't really change that, but you do have other options. Um, now, call recording, we do have some options here. First of all, if you choose disabled, that means that call recording will not happen at all. Um, record from answer means that it will start the call recording once the call is connected as opposed to hearing a bunch of ringing. Uh, it saves a bit of seconds or, or whatever from a call uh, storage point of view. I usually select from answer. Um, please do note that if you are recording calls, you have to determine by your own location whether or not you are required to legally tell people that you're recording them. Uh, in the United States, some states require it, some don't. It's up to you to determine that yourself. Finally, the dial timeout. Now, what this is, is for this specific dial applet here, how long are we going to try to do what we're telling it to do before we move on to what we drop in here? So in this case, I'm saying, okay, when the phone call comes in, I want to dial this group, the sales group, simultaneously, and I want to say this before they even try to connect. Um, I'm going to record from answer and I'm going to set the dial timeout at 30 seconds. You don't want to set it too short because if it's too short, nobody gets a chance to answer. If it's too long, people time out. You want to kind of judge that and, and adjust accordingly. And finally, I'm going to determine if nobody answers what to do. And I'll give you the same example I gave you earlier about how to use this number. I'm going to drop another dial applet on. Um, Standard options here would be either to dial someone else or to take a voicemail. It really depends on yourself. In this case, if I did a dial applet and I had an external call center, I could click number, put the number in of my call center, and really call centers should always pick up. Um, if you're paying some, a call center to, to call, take control of your calls, they should be always picking up. But you could always drop a voicemail at the very worst case and the call centers don't kick up. You could drop a voicemail and determine that as well. You could uh, use that for the same group. And again, um, the message that, the, the, that is used on that voicemail, you can do the same options. Read it, record it, choose it, or upload it. Um, using the group... Um, is usually the, the best option when it's available because then you have these options here. If you're going to assign it to a personal user, you have to adjust the person's personal voicemail. So I usually recommend a group. Um, so in this case, we've got a dial applet followed by another dial applet followed by a voicemail. The first dial applet is trying our own team and then nobody's answered. So the second dial applet is going to try your call center. And then finally, if the worst happens and the call center doesn't even answer, we're taking a voicemail. And the voicemail that we do, uh, the recordings that they hear is managed here, and the group that the voicemail is assigned to, so which group is going to get the, the voicemail in the smartphone or the, or the mobile apps, is adjusted here. Um, so this is how a kind of deep dive into the dial applet. It is your primary method of making sure a smartphone is dialing people in your organization. And it has, when combined with some of these other options, an enormous amount of flexibility.